All right, you are in for a treat today. We are in Indian Springs in Broken Arrow, arguably one of the largest subdivisions in Broken Arrow, probably, I don't know if it's bigger than Forest Ridge, but it's very close. Absolutely stunning views at this property. Look at this, pond views. Oh my goodness. There's also a pond in the back as well. And I've just learned that this home actually has stocked ponds. So if you wanted to go fish, you can. So that's pretty cool. You also have the gazebo right there on the other side of that pickup. All right, so a little bit about this home. It is currently offered at the time of this video, $749,900. It has a gorgeous, I believe four car garage around the corner, if I'm remembering correctly, but we'll check it out. You can see a little peak of the pond views that we'll check out in a second. Uh, yes, four car garage there. Love the brick and stone combo. I'm not a huge fan of red brick, so I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> Say I love it when I don't, but the house is gorgeous. Great plantings and flower beds. I love the black mulch, really pops. Whoever this person is, they either have a very green thumb or they have a really great yard guy or gal. Um, picture windows there. That is kind of a sitting room. We'll check that out in just a second. Let's head on in here and check it out. Um, so right in the foyer here. Hey, there's mom. How's the food? Oh, so <laughs> Gorgeous staircase here. Love the black on white, gray colors. Here is the absolutely stunning dining room. Check out that light fixture. Gorgeous. I like the archways as well. Adds that pop of character. Living room with views of the pond all the way across the wall there. It's pretty fabulous right through here we'll check out the front door first love it and then here is that kind of sitting room den area love all of the natural light surround surround views is that how you say that <laughs> views of the pond on every wall so pretty great right there and then we'll head this way we'll check out the you can be in it it's fine Got a workout space right here. This could also be an office if you needed it to be. And we'll head upstairs on this one real quick before we check out the rest of it. Loads of storage in this place. So here is one of the bedrooms. Massive, massive bedrooms. There is uh, the masters downstairs. So these are all of your extra bedrooms right here is that Pullman bath. What's up, Ashley? <laughs> you can be in it, I don't care. <laughs> we have another bedroom here. <laughs> and then over here is what well, could be a game room, but it's being used as like massive storage. They're very into Christmas, obviously. What do you think, Yanni? <laughs> it's like storage for days. She's obviously into sewing, or he, I guess. He could be the crafter. Oh, wow. I love all the Alexa products. <laughs> very cool, very cool. I love this. There's one other bedroom up here that we'll go check out. So here's that final bedroom upstairs. I do love the bump out right here too. Could make a great little reading nook or something, but again, you can see the pond. It's right there from out this window as well. So. I think that's probably my favorite feature of the house is pretty much out every single window, you can have views of the pond. This one has a private bath, it's not a Pullman. So if you needed like a second primary, you could do that, have a little separate suite. But let's head downstairs. Real quick, if you're new here, my name's Ryan Henze. I run the Top Hat Connections real estate team, serving of course Tulsa and the surrounding communities. If you're thinking of making a move, I would love to help you make that smooth transition. On this channel, we share all things living in Tulsa and of course home tours like this. So if you're into that, make sure to like and subscribe and let's continue the home tour. Here downstairs, here is that main living room and then you've got a gorgeous fireplace there that looks to be, there's ash in there. So I don't know if this is gas or not. Looks like it's, it's wood burning. So that's an interesting feature you don't always see. Usually in town you have gas. You have a hall bath right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
kitchen. Everybody's eating. <laughs> and then here's the living, or not living, I'm sorry, utility room. Loads of space here and counter space. Cabinet storage. There's not the biggest pantry here, but it's not really a big deal because you have all of this to use this pantry space too. And then here is your garage. Obviously they're moving, so a lot of storage and stuff is, is getting packed up, but you have this side and then another two car on the other side. Okay, here is Kyla, my good friend, the listing agent. So why would somebody want to live in Indian Springs, Kyla? Oh, this neighborhood is absolutely gorgeous. There's multiple stock fishing ponds. It's a gated neighborhood, very exclusive. Big, beautiful homes, nice mm -hmm. landscaping, walking trails. I mean, it's pretty gorgeous out here. For every reason. Absolutely. I well, would love it. Let's continue the tour. We still have more to see. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Ryan. So you do have this massive island that everyone is gathered around. Lots of cabinet space underneath stainless steel appliances. I like the backsplash. And again, the undermounted sink looks out to the pond views. Again, that's like the major selling point for me of this house. Kitchen nook, and then we'll head outside and show you the backyard. Here we are outside, gorgeous. You have entertaining space there with the fans and this gorgeous yard looking out to, again, those pond views, absolutely stunning. If I turn this way, you can also see the other pond. I think you're getting the, uh, the, the secret there. It's called Indian Springs because there's a lot of springs, <laughs> a lot of ponds here. But let me know what you think about this house. I absolutely love it. We're in a gated community. It's pretty perfect and Indian Springs really is not that far from like downtown Tulsa. Depending on traffic, it would probably take you about 25 to 30 minutes. So it's that nice away from all the hustle and bustle while still being fairly close to downtown. But hey, if you don't even work downtown, then it's not even an issue. So really great property. Let me know what you think about it. Think about it. Let me know what you think about it. <laughs> and. If you're thinking of making a move to the Tulsa area, I would love to help you make that smooth transition. You may call anytime and we'll see you in the next one.